FIFO versus LIFO. Which inventory costing method is better for your company? Let's start with FIFO. FIFO stands for the Accounting Method of First In, First Out. This method of inventory accounting requires that inventory is sold in the order that it is acquired. At the time of the sale, cost of the earliest units purchased is assigned to the cost of goods sold. The cost of the most recent and possibly more expensive product purchased is left in inventory creating the ending inventory balance. Many companies under a perpetual inventory system use FIFO because it yields a higher gross profit than both LIFO and weighted inventory methods. It also most accurately portrays the flow of goods for most companies. It does this because it makes sense to use the FIFO method from a physical standpoint as well. Most companies like to get rid of their oldest inventory first, especially if their inventory can expire by a certain date. In this example, we represent FIFO from a physical standpoint. Now let's look at LIFO. LIFO stands for last in, first out. LIFO is a method for assigning cost to inventory, which assumes that the most recent purchases of inventory are sold first. The cost of the most recent product for inventory is applied to cost of goods sold, and the cost of earlier and probably cheaper product is applied to those items still left in inventory. You may be thinking that it doesn't seem right to sell the most recently purchased product first. It seems that a company would want to sell its older stock first in order to increase the shelf life of their product. Well, the LIFO method of assigning cost to inventory is still acceptable, even if the flow of the physical inventory does not follow the last in, first out method. LIFO does have some advantages over other inventory costing methods. LIFO's biggest appeal to companies is that it gives the company a better picture of the current market by most accurately matching the current cost of goods sold with current revenues. This method can also get a company a tax break in a market where the cost of inventory is constantly rising. By using the higher price for inventory, this decreases gross profit and net income, thus giving the company a temporary tax break. But because LIFO often yields tax advantages for companies, the IRS requires a company to state that they are using the LIFO method for inventory costing in their financial statements. Here we show LIFO using a physical example of the inventory flow. So LIFO versus FIFO, which method is better for your company?